gentlemen. Okay. Uh, to start with, it, I just want to ask a few questions about the so, Well, really asking some feedback from you guys about the week itself. Uh, we've been going for five years. Only four camps. Five years. Five, five camps. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. No, was great at uh, arithmetic. But we do like to try and keep it moving forward. We think coming to this place this year has really quite helped us move forward quite a lot. To get us all in one place, um, that, that kind of stuff. Um, we think it's been a real positive move from our point of view. But we'd like to know from you. So with the standard, let's, have, let's take food. We've just eaten, right? Food. I'd like you to indicate to me what, how you rate the food of the week. Okay, so some might be to like in some maybe not or what have you. But I'm, you've got a five point scale. Is it a mountain? Okay, so you've got a five point scale. So when I ask you to raise a hand, if you'd raise it clearly please and, and show how many fingers worth that you'd go for. So, food, food for the week. Let's go. Up in the air, please, so I can see you. Up in the air. We need to talk about it. Mo, what have you done? Did you have I'll give, I'll give it a three. Okay, thank you. Hands down. The chicken. Hands down. What about the standard of facilities, whether it be electric theatres or. This young man has only scored four because he hadn't, he'd only got one pillow. In a situation like that, the, the, staff, the staff of this place have been brilliant with us. They really have been quite helpful. So I'm sure if we'd have asked, we'd have got another pillow. So please, take that as a lesson in life. Oh, uh, springs in the bed. Oh, springs in the bed. I want you to Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I do, yeah. So we'll see if we get sponsored by Tempton. So, Al. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think a lot of you have enjoyed that early morning session for one reason or another. I want you to score that out of five, please. Uh, I think that's five, three. Put it right on, make it clear. Yeah. A referee signal. Yeah. 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 Three signals. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. What about what about the standard of referee? I totally agree with that. Uh, you'll notice, you'll notice that we only have. Oh no, no I'm qualified. Have we got anybody else that might have a qualification for referee? I have referee. I've got one over there, another one over there. There are about two or three that have actually got a, a referee in qualification. So su not surprisingly, it ain't been great. However, believe me, I have been trying to encourage your coaches to to protect you. 
I, no, seriously, seriously, uh, coaching for about 12 or 13 years at the University of Birmingham, I got the best two referees for every game. I, I didn't like them that much, they, they were okay, they are great, uh, but they were level five referees, and my main feel, feeling was, I want my players protected. We played in a, a non-student league, so we had lots of adults, so good players coming into the place. Uh, and so I, I wanted a safe environment for my players. So uh, no harm in you learning to referee. And uh, before now, in fact, one of Fakim Sun's uh, Aziz, Aziz uh, used to enjoy refereeing uh, some of the games. So I'm not averse to letting you have a crack, along with the coach maybe, uh, so you can build some confidence. So that might be a thing for you to grow and help us get, get that better, okay? The one thing we can't do is to go and afford the, the rates of pay that referees usually get paid for games. It, it, it puts it up by hundreds of pounds. It, it's ridiculous. You know, uh, so you've got to bear with us on that. But I'm on your side. I want you in a safe environment. And I want to get on the, on the referees' cases to, to be fair to you, to, to try and protect you. I don't know if you noticed the difference today, actually. It, did anyone notice a difference today? No. I Okay. Hang on. We know, we know it's not a strength of the camp, it's an area for improvement. So I'm, I'm looking for solutions for that uh, to, to, to improve it. It's as simple as that. Um, what else have we got? Hands up, those who enjoyed the swimming break. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Hands down. Hands down. Um, come on to my last one. The, the, uh, we feel blessed that we've had some people in to talk about sports psychology, to talk about emotional and mental health, okay? We feel that's been a, a po very positive step. Um, take the, take all, all the visiting speakers as one. Would you give me a rating on that, if you will, please? Right now. Right up in the air, let me see. Right up in the air, guys. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, just, to, just to back that up, you've all written some goals down. Has everybody written goals down? I know the NBA did. Has everybody done that? Okay. Then please use that system to help you get on with, with things. Okay? It's your future, and if you're de trying to determine that future by ticking those goals off and resetting them, you do yourself a big favour. You do the co your coaches a big favour by doing that. So do take the time to use that document. Don't just throw it, oh, well, that's something we did on camp. That's something you want to get into daily habits, weekly habits, monthly habits, whatever suits you best to make sure you're on that road. But I'll shut up in there, please. So you carry on. Thank you very much. Um, look, first, be be before we uh, talk any, any further about the week, which we're going to do now, First of all, I think we should put our hands together for someone that's organised all your on-court activity this week. Organised the coaching staff, been in the gym at before 7 o'clock every morning and, and left most nights after 10 o'clock as well. All right, so he's a, he's a legend in the coaching world. He's been around before I was born. <laughs> Certainly before you were born. And George was even a young, a young man many, many moons ago. All right, but, but Peter here is, I think, is going to play. Most of them are here on a voluntary basis. You may think they're being paid loads of money to be here, but they're given their time at most of them uh, for either bed or, or food or a bit of clothing to help make this camp work this week. All right, so 
each, each one of the members of staff here has made valuable contributions, whether it's been as coaches, whether it's been Martin here who's done every job under the sun, streaming the games, photos, videos, logistics, all the stuff that you don't really see. Um, where are we? We've had Alessandra that's flown back in from the States for us. We've had Dougie that's been here seven o'clock every morning to come and do before he's done his, his day job. Um, so, I mean, from me, thank you to all the staff and our helpers. And young Ben here who's, who's been popping up and again doing some of the dirty work behind the scenes. So I think a, a quick thank you to all the staff from me and I think from you guys. the therapists, the sports therapists that some of you have mentioned that have come in and treated you. Tom here from a strength and conditioning perspective. I know several of you enjoyed that. <laughs> those, those bits of expertise hopefully give you something to take away into your future because I, I know many of you will have ambitions of where your basketball might take you. Hopefully you've learnt a little bit during the week to help you along the way. I think we've got some campers that have been with us in years gone by. It's been brilliant to see you guys back and some new campers in as well. And it does in one respect feel like two minutes ago that you all came in on Sunday afternoon. And on the other hand, it feels like it was four weeks ago. All right, but well, I think each one of you across the week has been lovely to build relationships with you, get to know you. Hopefully you've made some really good friends that Again, in the future, you, you'll, you'll come across in your basketball world. Your behaviour has been, in the main, impeccable. One or two slight mishaps. All right, but only one or two. We've recovered from them, haven't we, Coach? Oh, Carly, you're not getting out of that mention. You can get a mention as well. You escape. Um, okay, so what we really hope is that you want to come back and join us again next year all right, and, and make some more memories because you will hopefully make some, have made some really great memories this week so far. And we're not finished yet. Obviously, we've got tomorrow morning to come. We've got something happening after this tonight as well. So we'll talk about it a little bit. So, we've got a little, one or two little bits of awards to make this evening from each, okay, from each division. It's the coaches, Ricardo here is the head of the college division and George is the head of the NBA division will be going, will be given out. They've all been voted for by the coaching staff, so it's been fairly put together. It's not one person making any decisions. And then we've got another couple of awards to give out in the morning that will include the non-residential campers as well. We're obviously have got home before our evening meal. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to Ricardo first of all. What the winners will get is their award, plus a choice of one of the items of clothing or caps or shorts that are up here that Akeem has donated to us um, from his youth in collection. Okay? So I'll hand over there to Ricky. The whole day before being here was really good to to spend all these these days with you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I was even telling to to the other coaches uh, uh, how good it was to to see this camp going ahead after we because the COVID we we were thinking that of course we would not take place and uh, what so many new faces, people from the club and everyone having trying at least having fun and spending time with us was really good. Well, well done guys. Uh, I will start giving the award for the most improved player. This award, uh, as Rob said, uh, we call all, all the coaches uh, try to, to choose a player that showed more, more, uh, more uh, improvement 
during these 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 past days, and um, and we hope that this is a kind of uh, 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 encouragement for for the player to carry on working hard and getting and uh, keep getting better. Okay, the college division most improved player is Roscoe Abro. Sorry. <laughs> Um, I got straight to the 
the awards right now in terms of MVP. Um, I think the coaches, well, I know the coaches thought long and hard about this and uh, unanimously came to the decision that this uh, person was well deserving of the MVP because of one, he developed, showed his skills, two, he developed his skills, third, he had great attitude, and which was, for me, the most important thing, because you can have all the great playing ability, but if you've got a positive attitude, you put a smile on your face, you're going to go far, and I hope this person does go far, and his name is Miles. Yeah. terms of relating to not only the coaches, but the players, younger and older, showed a maturity beyond his years. Great kid. I wish you were better than man. Jim, come forward. Okay, so George, did you want to 
announce the, all the guys that are playing in the All Stars. Um, just, just sitting on the deal here, it's now 10 to 9. We're going to make our way back down to the gym and look to start that game by about 9 10. Okay, so if you do get selected and you haven't got your boots on and ready to play, go back and do that, please. But in the gym the arena at 10 past 9 for that game. So, George, you want to win? Here are my nine All-Stars. Miles. Jack. Sham. Lewis. Two Lewises. Lewis G, Lewis S. Finn. Shai. Shai. Jay. And Eric and Hans. Hans. Yeah, I would suggest that you may want to clear your rooms and get yourselves packed probably tonight because there is a 7 a.m. session in the morning. Okay, so 7 a.m. session is going to be as it's been all week tomorrow morning. 9 o'clock then will be competitions and games. Okay, and then at 10.30 we'll start the, the, the finals and the playoffs. Okay, to finish for about 20 to 1. Okay, half past 12, 20 to 1 tomorrow. Okay. Has anyone got any questions? No? Oh, I have one point to make. Can you please clear your rubbish out of the sports store, please? It's a right tip in there. Sorry to leave my sorry now. Please, 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 do that. You're not